In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom welcome dashboard for your Elementor or WordPress website just like this. Let's dive straight in. So guys, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to plugins and we're going to add a new plugin. And the plugin we're going to add is called Welcome Dashboard. It's a plugin made specifically for people who use Elementor. Once it shows up right here, it's from Idea Box Creations. It's called Dashboard Welcome for Elementor. You simply install and activate. Once it's activated, it will show up right down here in the settings. Okay, but we first leave it at that. Now what we have to do is we are going to create a template or a section that is going to appear as our welcome message or as our welcome notification dashboard. Now what we have to do is simply we are going to come over here and come to Elementor templates and we create a new template. I open up a new window and right here I'm going to create a new section and I'll name that section welcome dashboard 2 then I'll create the template. Then right here, I can simply just start creating my section from scratch by adding number of columns that I want. I can have it to be having a minimum height. I can add a number of widgets by dragging them over here. I can even add different other columns and still add more widgets right down there. For example, this is a Google map. And that's how you can do it when you start from scratch. But that aside, we can even use templates that are already pre-made by Elementor by simply coming over here to the template library, come to templates. And in case you have any created blocks, you'll be able to search them up here and use them. You can even use already pre-made pages as your sections. Now, in this case, I am going to use a template that I already created, which is right down here, it's called Welcome Dashboard. I'll insert it, and boom, here it shows up. Basically, it's a section. I added a gradient right here. I can remove it, I can change it to any other color, but I'm going to just leave it to be the gradient I had selected. Let me just take it back to the color that I want. Then I added all these other sections. Now this can be like, you know, the services that you offer under your agency or that you want your visitor when they log into your WordPress website to see or to access. So you can simply even make them clickable, like adding a link right down here. For example, they can even be affiliate links. They can even be links to your contact or support team and all that stuff. So once you are done creating your section, you simply hit publish. And once it's published, it will show up right here. This is the one here and it's called Welcome Dashboard 2. So what I'm going to do is simply close here. And now I am going to come back to my dashboard and I'm going to go down here to settings and then I'll open up Welcome Dashboard for Elementor. And right here, I have the options to choose a Welcome Dashboard for the administrator, for the editor for the author contributor or subscriber now this means you can have different welcome dashboards for the different users for your elementor website it can be the same template or they can be different templates now in this case we created one for the administrator and it's called welcome dashboard 2 so i'll simply select it the other thing if you want to show a dismiss welcome notification you can simply click over here or by checking this box but before we do that let me simply save this and now when i open up my dashboard you realize that yes, my welcome dashboard shows up here. Now I can even come back here and I make some changes. For example, if I remove this text and maybe I even change the angle for the our background gradient. So I just change this to 22, then I simply update. Once I update, I can simply come back here to my dashboard and I reload my dashboard. And you notice that the gradient changes and this text goes off. Boom text is off and the gradient has changed the angle and simply that's how you can make different changes on your custom welcome dashboard right here. Now the other thing 
is that if you want to show a dismiss button or notification here we simply come back here to our settings for the welcome notification and then enable the notification to dismiss the welcome box then i come back here to my dashboard i reload my page and then you have to look up here boom you realize that now our dismiss notification comes up here now that means if someone clicks over this boom it will dismiss the welcome note and if i reload the page it will not appear again unless someone now enables that welcome notification once again now in this case if i log out of this website so i'll log out i'll come back and log into the website once i log in boom my welcome notification shows up right here the same you can create for different other users of your website so in a nutshell that's how you can create a simple customizable welcome notification for your elementor or wordpress website dashboard thank you so much for watching in case you have any questions comments leave them down in the comment box below and if you like the video please hit the like button and if you're new to the channel please subscribe thank you so much for watching see you in the next one